Crankskins.com video shoot frame and cable rub clear protection, 8 mil and 12 mil thick. Here's what we need. It's nice to have a heat gun handy, or if you don't have a heat gun, a simple little flamethrower will work. Your 12 mil thick pro patch, 8 mil pro pack, whichever you choose. 12 pack is great for the carbon down tubes. A little alcohol for cleaning and prep, cloth, pair of scissors, and a bike. We have to apologize because the bike's not super clean, but wherever we're going to put our cable rubs on the carbon frame, you'll clean off. This is our blue competition race rig right here, all carbon, and we're going to do a little bit of protection on it in different areas. What we're going to be doing now is use some of our 8mm patches. Just for illustration, I'm going to pull off one of the old ones. A little rubbing alcohol on a rag. Clean the area where your cable is going to be cutting into your carbon. Choose a patch. You go with a little round one there, lay it down. It's a nice warm day, it'll lay down flat. If you're in a cold area, you might want to heat it up a little bit with a hair dryer. Pretty simple. There you go. Now your nice carbon frame that you spent a lot of money on isn't going to get wrecked. Because once it's gone, it's pretty much gone. Also, don't forget to hit a couple spots on your fork where either a remote or your brake line will come down. I already hit that one with a nice big fat piece. Don't worry about that custom Hippie Tech suspension graphic on there. Some of the other areas you might want to drop a little cable rub is up top near your headset. That's another nice area. Follow it down. Blue Competition's carbon frame. Lots of areas where the cables can actually come through and rub. There's a nice spot right there. Don't forget to hit that. And when you don't use all your down tube, be sure to put some up on your seat post. Wherever you have a cable tie, velcro strap, anywhere that's going to wear, let it take the abrasion. Hit your chain stays. You can use a thicker 12 mil for that. On the new SRAM XX on the derailleur mount here was pretty interesting. With the stainless steel strap, we threw a piece of 12 mil under there just so the strap's not going to cut into it. So, pretty simple on your frame patch, cable rub installation, down tube coming up. Down tube installation. We're going to use the 8 mil for the video. What we recommend is using the 12 mil. Clean it really good. Alcohol, wipe off all dirt, all debris. It's usually best you'll find to do this when you get a new frame. Anytime you get a new bike, you want to start with fresh factory finish. That way you're not going to be covering up old nicks and dings, but you can still protect your stuff after you own it. All right, now it's all clean. Real simple, you're going to take your long down tube patch from here, yeah, bolt it off. Make sure your length is where you want it. Once you have your length where you want, touch the top. What you're going to do is you're going to peel it away and walk it down. Pull it back off if it hits somewhere you don't want. You're going to walk it down with your finger. All the way down. And take your time with this. Get to the bottom. Perfect. Slowly, you can either use a rag or your finger. Rag works good. Press it down and smooth out the sides. And just take your time. And before you know it, you'll be done and you'll be ready to hit the trails. Boom! Nice clear piece on there. It's going to take a lot of hits and dings because these carbon frames, they chip easily. You always want to keep it clean. And if you have a little weep hole down the bottom, make sure you take something, clean out the little weep hole, poke a hole in it. You need water in there. Other than that, it's pretty 
simple. Protect it. Removal, take your time and slowly peel it back. If you're using the 12 mil Pro Pack, on the real thick, thick stuff, what we like to do is heat it up a little bit. Here, let it lay in the sun for a bit, warm up. It's thick. Take your time with it. Once it's on the carbon, don't be afraid to use a hair dryer. You're not going to break your carbon or burn up your carbon. A little heat doesn't hurt it. Just don't go too hot. If you happen to be using a heat gun, definitely do not go too crazy. Other than that, there's your down tube insulation. Ready to go? Hit the trails.